Hey everybody, welcome back to Netta's Kitchen. I know it's been a while, but as you can see, I've moved, I've got a better kitchen. Everything is like, uh, I'm just excited, I'm jazzed. But today, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to make chicken parmesan. Um, everybody makes theirs different, whatever, and then today we're also gonna have veggie pasta, which is really healthy for you and all that, and we'll take you through the steps of all that. So right now what we're going to do is here, what we do is go ahead and get our breast chicken. You can go ahead and make it thin, slice. Always put it in here. Some egg. Kind of put it here. Dip it in your flour. And my flour, what I do is I do it with breadcrumbs so it comes out really good and stuff like that. We go ahead and put it here in the pan. Fry it up, let it simmer. You don't want it too, too hot, your chicken and stuff like that. Just let it keep going. Cook a little bit. Once again, put it in your eggs. Go ahead, put it over here. Dip it in your flour. And like I said, my flour, I put seasonings. And I put, um, and I really don't make too many fried food, but this is how we're gonna have to make it for today. I uh, use it this way. I put a lot of seasonings and stuff in my chicken like that. So we're gonna go ahead and let those two pieces cook. As you see, um, wash your hands. You know how I am about washing your hands. So let's make sure you always wash your hands. I'm kind of excited about, cause I haven't made a video in a while and I just had to get back on track here. And while this is cooking, the meat's cooking, it's gonna be really good and stuff like that. We'll put the seasoning on. Right here, as you can see, I have my uh, seasonings. This is onion, garlic, parsley, tomato, and all that. And that's going to be my sauce there. So what I did early this morning is I boiled some tomatoes. And I made my own tomato sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it in there because that later on will show you, you know, what it comes to. And just kind of just mix your stuff in there. Get it cooking. So you have that, it's gonna turn out really good. And you can see your chicken is starting to, you know, get a little brown on one side and that's how you wanna do it. Just check it, look at the seasonings on that. Just alone, so you can go ahead and flip that. If you want to, flip it, it doesn't cook. I always get the thin, thin slices so it comes out really good. So we have that. I'm gonna go ahead and put another piece in there um, so we can cook that. Like I said, you put in the eggs, get the flour, get your flour here. Just put in another piece. It's gonna be like really amazing. Um, go ahead and cook that up and let it get that flavor and that taste. And then what we do is, like I said, we're letting it simmer, cook. My sauce is here, excellent tomatoes. I had some excellent tomatoes today, so it's gonna be really good. And you can see here, the onions, the garlic, the parsley, everything just wonderful. Like, oh God, can't wait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that cook. Keep it, you know, have the camera guy kind of look at that so you can see that. People usually get a big old thing of uh, cheese and stuff like that. I got some cheese out of here because I didn't want to uh, take too much time, whatever. So, So it's cooking, it's simmering, it looks good. I'm gonna turn this one over. Great. It's looking, you know, and, and kind of just flip it over again and get that taste. Look at that, those seasonings on it. It's gonna be wonderful. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you how I make one. And then later on what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll show you 
the finishing touch of everything. So what I do is I take this one, okay? I get it here, I bring it in my pot, my nice pan right here, and then what I do that people don't really, really do is I cut up spinach, because spinach is always really amazing on it. So I go ahead and I put the spinach on it. Then I'll come right here, I'll get my wonderful sauce, and I just kind of put it on there just a little bit, and then of course it's going to be like 20 of them here, 20, 25 of them, the sauce looks great, and what I'll do is then I'll put my Parmesan on it. You see that? So, in the meantime, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prepare this, and then we'll come back for part two, and I'll show you the finishing touch. Until then, welcome back to Nana's Kitchen.